Alrighty guys, now on to the little bit more advanced stuff. So, uh, what I am going to do is record my second monitor. It's going to be a little bit easier to show you how to do what I'm talking about. So, uh, basically what we're going to do is learn how to live stream with DxTory. Now you can uh, also capture with your, uh, when you're live streaming, you can record the broadcast just like we uh, went over how to record your your recordings in the first place. So you can record on Twitch, you can record with OBS. This is a local recording, but keep in mind this is the downscaled version, so this would be in 720. Uh, and then we'd save our path, and then uh, it would basically just, uh, you can also tell it to keep recording if your live stream goes down. It's a couple cool features, but it's not as advanced as something like DxTory can do. So uh, that's all fine and dandy. I'm gonna uncheck this for now, but what we can do is use o our DxTory. So, uh, DxTory allows us to change games really rapidly without having to go in here and hit game, properties, refresh, choose our game, hit OK. Basically, DxTory is always locking on to whatever game is happening. Again, I have Team Fortress 2 open, but uh, you know I can have my, my main microphone, I can have my game audio, uh, so I can record and, uh, and live stream at the same time. So basically to do that, I can just hit direct show output. And that's going to just take our our uh, our video and go straight through to OBS. So uh, I can also uncheck file output if I don't want to record, but you know a lot of people do want to record really high quality. And this way your microphone won't be over the top of it as well. So if you want to take like a sweet clip out of your live stream, this way you'll just have your uh, your video recorded and with no voice over the top, and it'll be high quality. Uh, you can you know still record at 1080p and all that. So. That's super handy. Um, basically, like I said, we're just gonna check these boxes right here. Now, keep in mind with DxTory, you still have to hit your hotkey to start recording, uh, even if you're only live streaming. So I hope that makes sense, but uh, just remember that. So what we're going to do is go to this video output uh, tab here, and we're just gonna use number one, and basically we can scale it down here. So I prefer to capture it at 1080p and then downscale it, so I'm just gonna hit uh, oops, 1920 uh, by 1080. And then, yeah, so you can see we're all ready to go. Just our normal DxTory settings that we would use. I'm gonna actually max out my processing threads here. Uh, and then we're good to go on DxTory. So I'm just gonna move this over here. And then in OBS, I'm gonna uncheck the game and I'm actually gonna add another video capture device. And I'll just rename this one DxTory game. Hit OK, and basically in our device selection, we're gonna go back to our DxTory Video 1. As you can see, you can have a bunch of different ways to set this up, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it on one. Um, again, you can downscale it here or in OBS uh, in the settings tab. I just prefer to do it all right here, uh, and then we're good to go there. So it would be just the same. So I could go back and preview my stream again, but you'll notice I have my webcam up here, but I have no uh, video for my game. Remember, we have to hit our DxTory hotkey to get up and running. So now I've hit my recording key, I'm recording, and also I'm uh, ready to live stream. So if I go over my video, I can go to my DxTory and I see right here, HL2 is Half-Life 2, because Team Fortress 2 is a Half-Life 2 mod. Anyway, you can see that it started recording in my folder. So that is incredibly awesome. I'm just gonna hit um, F9, it's my hotkey to stop. And I'm gonna hit stop preview. So remember, you just hit stop or start streaming there, and you'd be recording with DxTory, and everything would be good to go. So super handy features with DxTory. A lot of people say it uh, helps improve their frame rate when they use a DxTory. Obviously, you're using your own codec, so you could use like the Lagerth lossless codec whenever you're live streaming with DxTory. I think in general, it's just a little bit easier because I'm used to using DxTory. It is one extra step, but you know, if it's worth it to you, try it out, uh, see what you think, and yeah. And one more thing you can do just to switch between scenes. Say you have a scene that you just want to have your webcam only. Uh, we would go to video capture device and just do webcam again. And this time I might keep it at 1920 because if it's going to be our face in the whole screen, we want it to have pretty decent quality. Uh, so I can go ahead and preview stream here. And uh, yeah, okay, say that looks fine or whatever. I'm going to stop previewing. And then I'm going to go to here. And here we can set a hotkey. Excuse me. So I could use like number pad one go to this scene. Oops, excuse me, that one's already in use apparently. Uh, I don't want to use mouse one. I'm going to use number pad three. So on this one, I could set my hotkey to number pad like four. That way, if I'm in the middle of streaming, I can just switch between these two. So if I'm 
playing my game, you know, talking, whatever. Have my game going, and I'm like, okay, well, guys, thanks for coming out to the stream. I can just hit that on the fly, and it's really handy to have. And, uh, yeah, so that's super good tip just to uh, keep your streams flowing and have them uh, not really have any hiccups and make it look really nice and professional. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to go over is how to add a chat overlay. So I'm going to go over here and go to add monitor capture, and I'm just going to name this chat for now. Um, basically what we're going to do is go back to our dashboard and since we have BTTV we have a dark uh, chat and they have a really sweet feature so what I can do here is use pop out chat and that'll knock this little box over here. I know it's getting really cramped having only one monitor and keep in mind you do have to have two monitors to do this kind of stuff so uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on this real quick so just so I can move monitor or move windows I apologize. Uh, so I'm going to go back here and name this chat again, and I'm going to use a subregion basically on this, and then I'm going to select region, um, oops, and I'm going to use monitor 2. Keep in mind we do need two monitors to do this, select region, and scale her down to, you know, you can make your chat bigger uh, and kind of do this accordingly, and uh, just kind of get an idea of where you want it to be. Uh, BTTV has this really nice, uh, really nice thing where I can go ahead and use the chroma key chat, and basically it makes everything black, so everything can stand out. So I can hit select, and then that will chroma key everything out of the background, so we'll have this kind of floating chat. Uh, I'll go back and select all this stuff, so it will uh, capture everything that I'm trying to show you guys here. So I might actually make something more along these lines and then just hit OK. And then when I hit Preview Stream again, I have this chat overlay over here. So again, we can go to Edit Source and uh, maybe put it down here below my webcam. I might make this bigger again uh, and do something like that. So that's really cool. I can have my chat chroma keyed out. I can have see it on screen. Um, if so, people on mobile, the main reason this uh, even is a thing is so people on mobile can see it because obviously uh, the iPhone app is a little iffy as far as, uh, you know, getting everything up and running. And again, I'd have to have my uh, my game up and running. So you can see now that it is chroma keyed out and everything like that. So that's really nice. Another thing we can do is add a, uh, a music capture. So if I had um, say Spotify up and running on the other page. Again, we're going to use a monitor capture. I'm going to use a sub region here. I'm going to select the region. This is over on my first monitor. I apologize. You guys aren't going to be able to see this right now, but uh, trust me, it is happening. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll try that for now. So you can see my music thing popped up right here. I might actually change this around and then I can make it a little bit bigger. Eh, something like that. I can move my chat down below that. So, uh, I mean, you just take your time to get this all in correctly proportionate. <laughs> and uh, basically, that's really cool. I can have my music going. I can have my chat overlay. I mean, it does get kind of crowded over there. So keep in mind, uh, you are going to be blocking quite a bit of your screen. But a lot of people actually scale down and have custom overlays and stuff for uh, this kind of thing. But anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much, I think, everything, the extent of my knowledge when it comes to live streaming. I really appreciate you guys checking out this tutorial. I hope a lot of it made sense and some of it helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to leave them below. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video, and I will talk to you later.